these no-so pocket pups need no fun introduction because I think their cuteness speaks for themselves. Hi guys, it's Katie from Yarn Society and today we're going to crochet together this pocket pup. He is about three inches tall in this bulky Chanel yarn and I think we can get him done in like 30 minutes. So let's get started and we'll go through supplies first. We're going to get started by making a slip knot and chaining seven. We will be single crocheting down our chain stitch, but we aren't going to be slip stitching to join. We are going to be working in continuous rounds, and I'll show you that here. Here is our chain seven. We're going to single crochet in that second chain from the hook, and then we'll single crochet down the next five. So we have six total. So here's single crochet one. Move over to the next chain stitch, single crochet two. We're just going into that top loop. That was three. This is four. Single crochet five. And single crochet six. All we're doing now is we're rotating our work. I'm just going to tighten up that slip knot. And now you can either go into that top loop. It's a little bit tough to see with the Chanel yarn, so I tend to go right below the loop. There's like these tiny holes. We're gonna single crochet in the next six. So here is single crochet one, move over. If you can see here, I'm going right underneath that loop. Here's two, three, four, five, and six. At the end of round one, we're gonna have 12 stitches. I'm going to mark my last stitch with a stitch marker. If you like to mark your first stitch, go ahead and do that. We are gonna be working in continuous rounds, so we're just gonna go into that next stitch. We're not doing any kind of slip stitching. We're just gonna go into the stitch here. For round two, we're gonna make a single crochet increase in that first stitch and a single crochet in the next. We're gonna repeat that sequence for a total of six times. Place your hook into that next stitch, and we're gonna make two single crochet into the same stitch. Move over for a single crochet. Then we're gonna repeat the sequence. We have an increase, that's a single crochet increase. Move over for a single crochet. Repeat the sequence again. You have a single crochet increase. Move over for a single crochet. That little stitch in the corner can be hidden, so make sure that you pull your stitches up. Now we have an increase. Move over for a single crochet. Then we have an increase. Single crochet. Move over for your increase. And then make a single crochet into that last stitch and minus mark. At the end of round two, we're going to have 18 stitches. I'm going to change my stitch marker to the last stitch. For round three, we are going to make an increase in that first stitch. And then we're going to single crochet in each of the next two stitches. And we'll repeat that for a total of six times. Here's our first single crochet increase. Then we'll move over for a single crochet then move over for another single crochet. We'll repeat this with an increase, move over for a single crochet, and then move over for another single crochet. We're gonna repeat our increase. So we're gonna single crochet in each of the next two. Now we have an increase. Single crochet in the next two. Increase. single crochet in the next two and then our sixth and final increase single crochet in the next two at the end of round three we're going to have 24 stitches i'm going to change my stitch marker in round four we're we are going to be making the ears and i'll walk you through that but to get started we're going to make a single crochet in each of the next two so here's one and two from here, we're going to chain seven. Mm -hmm. 
We're going to make a double crochet into that third chain from the hook. Go ahead and yarn over and then go through that top loop of the chain and make a double crochet. And then we're going to make a double crochet in each of the next three stitches. So we'll have four total. We're going into the top loop of the next stitch, double crochet. We're going into the next stitch here for another double crochet. And then we're going into the next stitch for another double crochet. You'll have four total. We have one chain stitch left. We are going to make a half double crochet. Go ahead and yarn over, go to that top loop and make a half double crochet. Now we need to connect our ear. So we're going to make a slip stitch into that same stitch that you made your single crochet. So go into that same stitch with your single crochet and make a slip stitch. I like to mark the slip stitch with a stitch marker. It really does help for round five. So go ahead and mark that now. So now your ear is done. We're going to move to our next stitch as usual, and we are going to single crochet in each of the next 12 stitches. Here is one, two, three. I'm going to let you count yourself. Eleven and twelve. Okay, we're gonna stop for a second and we are going to chain seven again. We're gonna make a double crochet in that third chain from the hook and continue to make three more after that. So we'll have four double crochet total. So working in the third chain from the hook, we have one double crochet. Move over. Here's our second over for our third and then move over for our fourth oops got stuck and then we're going to make a half double crochet into that last chain we're going to slip stitch to join to that last single crochet that we made so right into this spot here we're going to insert our hook and we're going to make a slip stitch once again i'm going to grab a stitch marker once i can get this slip stitch I'm going to grab a stitch marker and I'm going to mark that slip stitch. We're going to single crochet in each of the last 10 stitches. So then find your next stitch here and then we'll single crochet to the end. Make sure that you have 10 single crochet. Six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. We will have 24 stitches, not counting those marked slip stitches. For round five through seven, we are going to be single crocheting in each of the 24 stitches. And I'm going to show you on round five how we're going to get past this ear. We're going to single crochet in those first two stitches. You want to hold your ear down. We're going to skip that marked slip stitch and go right on to our next single crochet. So you have to reach your hook over, which I'm struggling <laughs> with this, but reach your hook over into your next stitch and just make a single crochet. You'll have 12 single crochet until you get to the next ear. Make sure that you are single crocheting in each of the next 12. Hold down your ear. We're going to skip that slip stitch and we're going to reach our hook all the way over to the next single crochet. This one I'm really struggling with. So just do your best to get that in there. It's a little slippery. And then we're going to single crochet in each of the next 10 stitches. At the end of round five, we're going to still have 24 stitches for round six and round seven. We're just going to single crochet all the way around to the next 24. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this crochet along. I hope you've been liking this pocket series I've been doing. I thought it would be fun to do no sew and it's kind of been taking me out of my comfort zone to figuring out 
how to get it no so, especially these ears, but it's been kind of fun. I don't know if you're a part of Yarn Society newsletter, but if not, go ahead and head over to my site yarnsociety.com and you can sign up there. I am doing something a little different with my newsletter this week and I'm hoping to continue it so kind of wanted to see what you guys thought. Just a reminder you can slow down this video or you can make it go faster by clicking on the gear button bottom right of the video and then adjusting it there. We're reaching the end of round six here. We're going to change our stitch marker and then go ahead and single crochet around one more time, this will be round seven, and then we'll meet back at the end of round seven. Okay, I just finished up round seven. This is how we're looking. We can take out those stitch markers from our slip stitch. And I did forget to mark round five, which I wanted to do. So we're gonna count up. We have seven, six, and five. If you can just mark that round five with a stitch marker, it really will help later when we put in the eyes. You can take out that other slip stitch thing and don't worry about the ears. We're going to fix that later. They just tend to kind of curl up and we'll get them to stay down. For round eight, we're going to increase in that first stitch and make a single crochet in each of the next three. We'll repeat that for a total of six times. So here is an increase, single crochet in each of the next three. Here's our second increase of the sequence single crochet in each of the next three. Here's our third increase. Single crochet in each of the next three. Here's another increase. Single crochet in each of the next three. Here is our fifth increase of the sequence. Single crochet in each of the next three. And then we have our last increase and we'll end with three single crochet. At the end of round eight, we are gonna have 30 stitches. You can change your stitch marker. For round nine and 10, we're just gonna single crochet all the way around for those 30 stitches. So do round nine, change your stitch marker, and then do round 10, and we will meet back. Okay, we've just finished round 10. We have 30 stitches still. We're gonna change our stitch marker. For round 11, we're gonna be making a few bobbles. So we are going to be using the front loop only for those bobble stitches. If you need a bobble refresher, I have videos on that that you can watch. We're gonna start round 11 by single crocheting in each of the next four. Here's one, two, three, and four. Now we're going to go through the front loop only for our bobble stitch. So essentially this is five double crochet, I don't finish. So here is going in number one, yarn over two, yarn over three, yarn over four, yarn over five. Now I'm gonna have six loops on the hook. I'm gonna go through all six loops. Now I'm gonna single crochet in each of the next three. And when you make that big bobble, that single crochet gets hidden. So here is one, two, and three. Now I'm gonna be making a small bobble in the next front loop, and that's essentially three double crochet. So here's yarn over going once, yarn over two, yarn over three. Go through two loops. You should have four loops on the hook. And then we are going to single crochet in each of the next five stitches. Single crochet one, two, three, four, and five. We're gonna make another small bobble. So we're gonna go into that front loop only. So yarn over, go through once. Yarn over two, yarn over three. And then we're gonna have four loops on the hook. And now we are going to single crochet into the next three stitches. 
One, two, and three. And now we're going to do a bobble stitch. That's five. So we're going to go in. This is two. Yarn over three. Yarn over four. Yarn over five. So now we will go through two loops and then we'll have six loops on the hook. We're going to single crochet in each of the next seven stitches. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now we're going to make one bobble for the tail and then we'll finish off with three single crochet. Here's your bobble stitch. Do the front loop only. You have six loops on the hook and then we'll single crochet in each of the next three stitches. We're going to end around 11 with 30 stitches. I'm just going to pop out these bobbles and then we can do a better job later. Change our stitch marker. For round 12, we are going to do an invisible decrease and then single crochet in each of the next three. So we're going to combine those two. If you need a video, I have that here. I'm going to go under the front loop of the first stitch, front loop of the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through. It's our first decrease. We're going to single crochet in each of the next three stitches. We have another decrease. Single crochet in each of the next three. Here's one, two, and three. We have another decrease. This is our third of the sequence, total of six. We have single crochet in each of the next three. One, two, and three. We have another decrease. Single crochet in each of the next three. Three, and then we have another decrease. Single crochet in the next three. And then we have our last decrease. Single crochet in each of the last three. At the end of round 12, we're gonna have 24 stitches. This is how we're looking so far. We're going to pause here so that we could put the nose and the eyes. You can grab an extra stitch marker so that you can secure your working yarn. I like to grab a pin. I'm going to find that mark that round five that we marked between round five and six and just kind of find that middle section in between the feet. There we go. I'm going to place my nose there first. So I have an 18 millimeter nose. You can use whatever nose that you have. And then I like to place my eyes leaving two stitches open next to the nose. Still between round five and round six. When you have that settled, you can take out that, that extra stitch marker. And then if you like where everything is and it looks centered to you, go ahead and place the safety eyes and the nose, the backings on. Once you have the backings on for your eyes and your nose, we're just going to add a little bit of stuffing. We're not going to add too much because we want that bottom to lay flat, but we just want to start shaping the top of the head. For round 13, we are going to make a decrease and then single crochet in each of the next two. We'll repeat that for a total of six times. Here is our first decrease. Single crochet in each of the next two stitches. Then we have another decrease. Single crochet in each of the next two. 
we have our third decrease of the sequence. Single crochet in the next two. Then we have another decrease. Single crochet in the next two. We have another decrease. Single crochet in the next two. And then our last decrease, single crochet in the next two. At the end of round 13, we're gonna have 18 stitches. Go ahead and change your stitch marker. Round 14, we are gonna make a decrease and then one single crochet. And we're just gonna alternate that decrease and a single crochet all the way around. Here is our first decrease and a single crochet. Then we have a decrease and a single crochet. Repeat that again with a decrease and a single crochet. We have another decrease and a single crochet. We have another decrease. Single crochet. And then our last decrease, ending with a single crochet. At the end of round 14, we are gonna have 12 stitches. This is our last chance to stuff. Don't lose that working yarn like I'm about to. Just add a little bit of stuffing to the center and then make sure that your dog, that your puppy is still sitting flat. Once you're happy with the stuffing, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the last round. Go ahead and change your stitch marker if you haven't already. For round 15, we're just gonna make a decrease six times around. Here is our first decrease. Here is our second. And then I'm gonna let you count until you reach the end. Here is our last decrease from here. I'm gonna take out this stitch marker. You can leave a long piece of yarn because we are going to fasten off. I'm gonna yarn over and pull that yarn all the way through. You'll have those few little bits that come off here. Grab your yarn needle and weave that yarn through your needle. I'm gonna find my six stitches here. So here's my fastened off. And then I have one, two, three, four, five, and six. And that one's a little bit hidden. I'm gonna go down the front loop only with my yarn needle. So this is our second stitch, our third, our fourth, our fifth, and then our sixth. I'm gonna start to close this up, but I'm gonna keep an eye on that hole because I wanna place my yarn needle back through that hole. And if you don't see it, don't worry, it'll kind of open up a little bit. I'm gonna pull my yarn needle through and I'm just gonna give that a tug, but I'm gonna help it out by pushing it in so I don't snap my yarn. Go ahead and weave your yarn through your pup. and you are finished. I definitely think this is a quick project. And especially if you have the nose and the eyes, if you don't have a safety nose, you can always feel free to embroider it on. So now you can do some work with your pup. You can push its ears out, you can flatten them. I like to grab my yarn needle and just puff out those bobble stitches.
here's another little friend in cream. And then my favorite is in this dark brown. I don't know, there's something about them. You know how different colors just even work up differently? It's kind of funny how that happens. If you're interested in more pocket friends, here's my bunny. And then I also have the pocket dino here. And these are also super fun too. Let me know what you make and I will talk to you guys soon and see you in the next video.